doing today? Welcome to the live stream. Um, I think I uh, did not uh, hit the go live button while the video clip. Uh, we usually have a wonderful intro that has uh, some music and everything that we play, but uh, I'm just going to go for it right now and go ahead and get started. So um, I hope that you're here with me and I hope that you are doing, a, I hope that you're doing well today. And it is so nice to have you and, and have you to join us on um, Inspiration Station with Amy on the Altenew, um Facebook and the uh, YouTube channel. So I just want to know how you're doing today. How are you doing? How is how has your Thursday been? Has this been a great day for you? Um, are you just waking up? Are you kind of like coming in and it's a little bit later? How are you doing? Where are you coming from? Let me know in the comments and how is everything doing? Hi, Carol from Clarence. It's so nice to see everybody. Hey, Sue, how are you doing? We have had some beautiful weather, Sue, in New England, I gotta say. So I hope that you're doing well. Yes, quiet day for me as well. It was really nice. And Melly from PP, hi, how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we have Angel behind the badge. So huge shout out to Angel. I'm so glad that she's here to add some things in um, into the uh, all the kind of goodies that we're doing today. And she's putting in and posting that if you share today's live uh, with your friends during the live session, you'll be entered to win a $15 gift card to our store. And hi, Avril. And uh, Avril, I was hoping you would join today because I am using some sprays, Avril, today. And I forgot, I was trying to find a mat for my, uh, like a, a protective mat and I can't find anything. So I'm just going rogue on this. So hi, Cece from Sweden. Hey, we're doing, and Aram, yes, blue. I love blue, it's the best color. We gotta think, Aram, what do you think? Do you think this is like a Caribbean sky, all to new blue? I do that a lot. Hi, Kimberly, thank you for sharing this. And hi, Arlene. Yes, the color pop classes, those were great. Those were from our retreat on Saturday. We had an absolutely fabulous time working with an exclusive stamp set. And um, our next retreat, keep a lookout. It's going to be coming up and uh, keep a lookout. Make sure that you're subscribed to our newsletters. Newsletters from Altenew are fabulous and they tell you a lot of secrets, things that are happening, inspiration and things for uh, sales. And Yvette, you have a beautiful day. Oh, great. Baseball coming up. Yep. Getting through work today. Well, I hope we're, I hope uh, tuning in helps you a little bit through work. And hi, Kimberly. Hey, Nancy. Oh, Carol, I'm so glad you guys are here. And hi, Don from Auckland. That's so great. It's beautiful down there. And Dilla from Eastern Time in Massachusetts. You're with me, Dilia. Hi, Stacy, hot California. And Joni. Joni, we've been having some great weather in New in uh, New England, I have to say. And Nancy from yet again a gloomy crazy in uh, windy San Francisco. So um today I wanted to just say thank you so much, Persian Blue. I'll give you that one, Aaron. Um, thank you for sharing, Roxy. Um, I, it's uh, Angel's behind the badge, Sue. Uh, so she is behind the badge. And um, oh, good, Yvette, you're going to love the next one. Uh, we are, we are, um, the next retreat is going to be super fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. So today, I just wanted to give a huge thank you for you're here with, uh, with us today. And I wanted to give a shout out to our educators, myself being one, uh, I teach science, if you if you don't know, and Altenew came out with this really fabulous stamp set called Educators Rule. And as it is June, and we have a lot of graduations coming up and we have a lot of kids that are kind of moving on and you might want to give a little bit of a thanks to, um, you might want to give a thanks to that teacher that's out there who's been helping your kids, maybe a professor, maybe principal who's been, whoever it is that is, has been in your uh, life or your child's life, uh, your grandchild's life. This is a really great way to kind of build that thank you card and to give some thanks to somebody. I make my my kids, I make them send thank you cards to all their teachers and everybody in the building every year because I think that this is important uh, to make sure that we're giving thanks to those people who sacrifice. And even those homeschool moms or homeschool people who are out there, any sort of educators, people who are working uh, with, the, with the little ones, uh, I just wanted to take a moment today and just say thank you because June, uh, as we get, at least in the United States, as we approach the end of the school year, it always gets a little bit tough. So today I wanted to uh, share our educators rule. And I also wanted to talk about 
cover dies. Cover dies are expensive, but I wanted to talk about some really cool things that you can do with those cover dies. And so I'm going to move down in just a second. I'm just going to take a quick look at the uh, chat. Stacy, thank you for coming in from New York. And um, yes, Queen Elizabeth's coronation. That is exciting. Or sorry, it's her jubilee now, but I'm just looking at, um, at Gil's uh, Baxter's thing. Yep, absolutely. And so is this set sold out? Oh, then get make sure that you get on the notice. This is a good one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to come on down and I am going to be team glasses today. Let me know, are you also team glasses that when you craft, you have to have these on? This is kind of a new thing for me. I'm accepting that I need glasses now for my, for my close-up vision. All right, so here we go. Um, I have this stamp set up and... Learned about that when I became an adult. It's something that I do, even if it's, um, and Stacy, yes, I know. I have to say, I get a lot of uh, questions like, you know, what should I get a, a teacher for the end of the school year? And any teachers who are on here, please let us know what it is that uh, we like to get. I have to say, the one thing that I love to get is I love to get a thank you note. A personalized thank you note is something that I cherish, excuse me, cherish. I actually have a, um, a little treasure trove in my desk of thank you notes that I have kept over my 20 years of, uh, of teaching. And those are just absolutely fabulous. And what I like about this set is that this is not just for a teacher. So you can see that you have principal here. You can see that you have tutor. Um, there is even about your librarian for gym teachers, technology teachers, specialist teachers, music and art. Um, these are for everybody. So any sort of educator can fit in here. And then the sentiments I absolutely love, like, thank you for going above and beyond the call of duty. That is, um, really the best I have to say. And thanks, Delia. I'm with you. We must need glasses right now. And you can see the teachers coming in that this is, this is what we really love is a hand, uh, written thank you note. It just, it's really the thing that kind of warms, warms us and kind of makes our year worth it. So what I wanted to play around with today, I'm just going to pull out a couple of things. So I wanted to share a thank you note and how to use this set with a thank you note, but I also wanted to talk a little bit more about cover dies and the cover die I pulled out to use is this one. It's called the detailed web cover die. And these are, um, these are, cover dies are a little bit more on the expensive side. And so I wanted to talk about a couple of ways to stretch these dies. And I really like this one. And I, I cut it out uh, just so you can see. And I'm just trying to grab a piece of dark cardstock so you can kind of see what the heck this looks like. Um, I love cover dies that are like this, that have um, kind of all of these openings because we can do a lot. Yeah, it does look like flowery to me. And I think that that's, I know they do, they did put spider web on there, but it is more like flowery. I wanted to show you, I did this card, um, a couple of, a couple of releases back where I inked it up and then I put it on this blue right here. And, um, so, this, uh, so just to kind of show you what this looks like. So you can do a, a lot of different things with this. So we're going to be playing around with this die. And then I actually was going to use this set, um, especially right here, these pencils. And I wanted to make a, a graduation card uh, because not only are teachers leaving school, but students are wearing uh, leaving school. And so I'm also going to add in this way to go um, die, which I really like this set. So we're going to do these. And Nancy, you've been wearing your glasses since 10. Yes, um, it is. Uh, thank you, Miss Dudley. See, teachers do so many things. It really is great. Um, and Carol, the sentiments are beautiful. And I'm with you, Dilia. Neat glasses. And you can see all the teachers in here. And Sue's different. All right. So this one, I have to say, Sue, I um, it's been new that I have to use them for detailed work. So I'm getting used to it. It's only been a couple of weeks where I'm like, I've actually just accepted what the heck is going on. All right, so I want to um, just kind of show you this. The die set, so if you get this, I would really recommend the die set because of the fact that it cuts out all of these beautiful, um, very large uh, sentiments that are in here. Tutor, principal, teacher, and then you have this beautiful script teacher or not. 
And you also have the pencil and the apple. So we're actually going to stamp an apple. We're going to do a couple of these. And we're going to make two cards today, if I can get that done in 50 minutes. All right, here we go. So I'm going to start out with this stamp set. And this one, um, if, you, if it's out of stock right now, then you should um, sign up for notifications. That's really the best thing to do. Uh, in order to make sure that you are are ready for it. All right, so we're gonna die, I'm gonna die cut this apple out, and I probably should die cut it first, but that's fine. So this is a four layered apple, and I'm actually gonna use the red sunset. Um... Hi, hey Anne Marie, how are we doing? It's so good to see you. Um, we just uh, were together over the weekend there on the Altenew retreat. We had a great time. Um, so I'm going to use this. I'm also going to bring in, now this is a really solid stamp and you can see all of this. This is a big, there's a lot of surface area on this stamp. And so having the conditioning eraser is a must have for this kind of a stamp. And Altenew sells these, they're in packs of three. And I was, um, when I first got these, I was like, yeah, whatever. Like when these came out, I was like, I don't need that. And then I bought them and they have really changed my stamping and I really feel like they do make a difference in terms of getting that right amount of coverage. So I don't have to sit here and like do it a couple of times. It gives me nice coverage the first time around. And this is such a solid stamp. So this is our base layer of, of that apple. And so you can see I got it like right, right there. I froze Joni. All right. Am I back to do? Am I back? Oh, good. Um, so Delia, the, the, the erasers, what the erasers are doing is they really kind of take off the, like the, the outer edge and they really do condition your stamp. And so you end up with this beautiful, um, kind of solid image. So that's our first one. And then our second layer is this one right here. So let me pull this one out and I'm going to do this in red as well. So let me grab my next one, which is rouge. And I like this set for reds because you have this really beautiful crimson um, and then you have this really beautiful dark. So when I want red, like Christmas red, when I want red, I usually will pull out the red sunset set. All right. So I'm just going to line this up and this one is fairly easy to line up. I really don't have too many problems with this. So you can see, I don't even have the guide. I'm just kind of eyeballing it where I want that to go. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. And this is the rouge. And I usually will use that eraser for each one. I just forgot to do it for this one. And now I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. So this, we're now forming this beautiful apple. So you can see how cool that looks. Um, and you know what I do, Delia, is I usually will do it and I, I'm looking around. Oh, here it is. Couldn't find my cleaning cloth. Um, I usually, I will definitely do it on new stamps, but this is a newer set. I only used it one time. And so um, I will condition it again, especially the stamps where there's a lot of surface area. I'm going to, I'm going to use this on any of the stamps with surface area. So when we get to this third layer, there's less surface area. It's only going to stamp this section on the outside. Um, but I, on the ones that have a lot of surface area, I will use it. And I feel like you just get a really good uh, image when you, when you stamp with it. Because sometimes I feel when I do solid stamps, I'm stamping them over and over again. And it's a little bit harder. All right, so now I'm going to go on to Crimson. And let me actually condition this. Um, it also just helps a little bit to clean. Is there anything left over, any sort of residue? And I, um, I've been using this for quite a while, and I do a lot of stamping, and it's really held up. They come three in a package when you get those conditioning erasers. All right. I know, Sue. It's so funny. And I do that for a lot of stuff. It's like I'm like, no, I don't need it. I'm fine. And then I, I, guy, I buy it and they're not that expensive. 
and I bought it and I was like, oh, like, I don't know how I live without it. I really don't. All right, so you can see our little apple coming along. It looks really adorable. And then I'm just gonna do the last part of the apple. And this is gonna be in our darkest color, which is velvet. And you can see how nice, beautiful red this is. Um, that's why I like the red sunset colors because they are really, really pretty. All right, so let me do this guy, conditioning eraser. And then we're gonna get into velvet. And that's our last color here, which is velvet. And I love how dark this is. And if you want to get this to be even darker, you can double stamp it. Um, and then you that will get more ink on. And then don't forget that ink, ink spreads. So if you give it a little time, it's really going to get into that paper. Oh, yeah, Sue, the Misty. <gasps> Sue, you got one just three weeks ago? It helps. So I don't think I could actually be stamping without it. Because I'm not a good, I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm going back and I'm trying to use like, um, you know, like just, just stamp blocks. But I am, uh, I'm terrible, especially with lining things up. So it's, uh, it's definitely been a game changer for me. Now, there's a little, um, there's a stem here. And I'm going to do my best. In fact, I'm going to actually not use my Missy. And I'm just going to grab a block. And I'm just going to grab some... I'm just going to grab permanent black because that's what I have. And I just grabbed it. I could do a brown, but I'm just going to grab this because I have it here. And I'm just going to do my best to just put this right where it needs to go. Boop. Now, there's a, um, there's a little section. There's this little teeny, teeny, tiny stamp that can you can take this um and actually stamp the stem two times like it gives like a little bit of this is the, the little tiny this is the little tiny guy um and i'm just like not even going to bother with it because i put i put it in black but if you did that in brown that would be really really super nice on that one so that's our that is our apple and i love it i think he looks so cool perfect for teachers we do like apple things we don't mind them at all um, and now I'm going to stamp a couple of these pencils. Now the pencils come with the pencil, um, the tip of the pencil, a pencil band, and then also an eraser. And so these are all the pencil parts. So I'm going to go ahead and just stamp a couple of pencils. And I'm going to do this where I'm just going to line them up and I'm just going to, I'm just going to go for it here. So for the pencils, I'm going to pull in Pocket Full of Sunshine. I love this yellow. It's a great yellow, but you also have this really dark um, with Honey Drizzle. And I'm actually going to use the, um, I'm going to use the Fresh Lemon and the Honey Drizzle for these two, because there's only two layers with the pencils. I think the Citrus Burst would be nice, but let me show you what these look like. So I'm going to grab, I'm just going to use Fresh Lemon, and I'm just going to go ahead and ink this up. So you can see how these look. So there's my pencil. And then I'm just going to move my paper up. And then I'm going to get a second pencil and I'm going to pull out three pencils. Two pencils and then let me grab one more pencil. And how are we doing out there? All right. Um, have you guys started on thank you notes? Do you have any graduations coming up? Any kind of teacher? Like, oh, I got to get the teacher gift. What do you guys got coming up in June? June is always an eventful month. There's so many things happening in June. And one of them being the Queen's Jubilee in the UK. That's so exciting. Oh, yeah, Kimberly. Um, the inks are sold in sets. You can buy them in sets. Um, I'm, a, I'm a mini. And there's, I got to say, we got to, we got to, I'll put it out there. Is anybody team mini ink cube and who's team full pad? <laughs> um, I'm team mini ink, uh, mini, mini cube. And I like the mini cubes because I can get more like each set of inks is like 13 to $15, depending on where you get it. And then uh, they do come all in the set. So I don't have to worry about it and you can buy the full pads and I have no idea about the price of those. So team mini ink cubes. Yes. All right. Oh, yes. Awesome, Avril. I'm glad you are doing mega thanks. That one's a great one. 
Yes. And the thank you notes for my kids' teachers, it's like, it takes forever. I know. And especially to get them to sit down and write, sometimes I have to bribe them. A lot of things happen with that, I have to say, going on in my house. There might be some bribing happening. All right. So this um, will give you the detail. And we're going to do this in Honey Drizzle. And I do have to, like, look and put this down because it does take a second to kind of line it up. And what you're, all you're trying to do is you're just trying to give it a little bit of, um, you know, just a little bit of color. And I think I'm going to pull out another ink set in just a second. So you can see, and I'm just going to wait, just wait a second. That's going to be kind of cool. It will, it will go in there. Oh yeah. And mini inks. I agree. Oh, and Roxy's full pad. I see. Yes. And I'm with Nancy. I just don't have a ton of uh, space. So it's a little hard to see them. Um, if you wanted to, so that was with honey drizzle and fresh lemon. So if you wanted to see what it looks like, and I, I like the fact that it's a little bit darker on that one. I'm going to show you what it looks like if you use the maple yellow. So this is maple yellow. I kind of like that dark. This one is just slightly different. So you can kind of see. Yes, right. The minis for storage. I got to say, it's they're a little bit easier to store. All right, I think I like that one a little bit better. So I'm going to go with the maple. I'm going to go with that uh, maple yellow again. So the other parts of these, which is the ends and the, um, the middle part, I just like to hand stamp. They're a little bit easier that way. All right, so let me pull this off. So this comes with... Um, this B1 is the base layer and then you have the base layer tip. So this is the tip. And then this little guy is like the very, very tip of the pencil. Um, and then you have here is like the band that goes up on the top. And then this is a detail for the band. And then you have the eraser right here. And then that's a detail for the eraser. So I'm going to pull out a couple of different, um, Ink collections in uh, Angel. Bear with me for just one second. I'm gonna pull out. Um, no, copy break. Uh, Delectable delights, and I'm gonna pull out uh, Martian Train for the eraser. So, but I'm gonna do Delectable Delights for this business down here. So, I really like the hazelnut for the um, little section down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put this on. And this is all hazelnut. And like I said, it's just really easy to hand stamp this. And you can kind of tell which side to put this on. If you look on this edge, you can kind of see that it's a little bit, uh, has some, some indents. And so that goes right in. And that's my pencil. And being a teacher, I can tell you, that's a pretty close color. <laughs> so that's hazelnut. That really looks like the bottom of a pencil. Um, and then I think for the, uh, this is like that middle part, the part where the band is, that one I am going to do in uh, gray. So I'm just going to grab a limestone and I'm going to do that. And so this is just going to go right on the top. And I may actually, let me push that up to Silverstone. Sorry, Angel, I'm changing it. Let's go to Silverstone for that. It's a little light. Okay, so that's Silverstone. All right, so there's our pencils. We're getting those pencils ready. And now we're going to do the layers of these. So the layers of this one, this is B4, and that's the bottom, that's our pencil. So I'm going to do that in milk chocolate. I know, I love Delectable Delights. It makes me hungry because I'm, I'm just like, these are all things that I would really like to eat. These really are. 
they really need to make like something that you come in and I'm doing I'm not right over this because I want to make sure I'm kind of going a little bit fast to make sure I can show you these. Um, so that's my milk chocolate. And this totally looks like a pencil that is not sharpened, which that kid always comes up to you and is like, I don't have a pencil. I need a pencil. So this totally this makes me feel like that, guys. I'm in class. We have a test today. I don't have a pencil. Oh. Of course you don't have a pencil. I always have extras though. I walk around the I walk around the hallway and just pick up extras of pencils. That's all I do. And then I give them to my students in class. All right, so now that we have our pencil, I'm going to add in the eraser, which is right here. And so I'm going to use uh, Martian terrain and I'm going to grab uh, this canyon clay out of there. And here is my eraser. All right. I should give these to my students. They are ready to go, except they don't have a tip. So now we're gonna put a tip on this and I'm just gonna go back and use my black for that tip. And this is a tiny little stamp. So for those of you out there that tend to lose tiny stamps, just be mindful. I have a whole pile next to me that I need to, and I know where it needs to go back to. Here, move this over. I'm die cutting these out, so I'm okay the fact that my pencil tip's a little wonky. There we go, and there we go. So those are our pencils. And what's super cool, uh, oh, subject and grade that I teach, um, I teach high school, and I teach high school biology. And, um, I teach all different types of uh, biology, anatomy to biotechnology, uh, reg straight biology. I teach them all. So, but um, I teach right now, I've been teaching AP biology. So the kids just took their AP exam, and I'm going to be grading the AP exam uh, next week. So that's exciting, doing some grading on that. See how that goes. Is it smaller than the music note? Um, I got to tell you, Avril, I think that music note is still smaller and Avril is referring to the fact that I lost a stamp, a tiny stamp. And I'm trying to keep them. If you could, if you could see over here, Avril, I'm just pushing them right over to the side because you know that those are going to be gone in a second. All right. So now that we have these, um, what we're going to do is now we need to be like, okay, how are we going to put these on? So I'm going to go ahead and take a second to die cut these out, but I just wanted to show you guys how these look. They're so cool. And you can even, um, the, on this stamp set, the sentiments that are a little bit on the, all these written sentiment actually fit inside of the pencil. So you can actually stamp these sentiments on the on the pencil. So like, thank you from my core. That's really cute. Um, you know, you rule, you can put in, thank you for a fabulous year. And so this really, I think, helps those kids that really don't like doing thank you notes because they can kind of build these things uh, for you. So I'm going to cut these out, but we need to make some backgrounds. And that's where my uh, cover die is going to come into play. So we are at three, uh, four o'clock. So I got about 30 minutes left with you guys. How are we doing? I know they're so cool. And I wish you could see the pencils, uh, right up close. They are really, really neat. And I absolutely think they are fabulous. All right. So I'm going to really, really fast cut these out. Um, I'm going to pull out my mini blossom. Why? Because it's fabulous. Um, the mini blossom is a great, tool. This is one of those other ones that I'm like, I don't need that. I already have a die cutting machine. Um, and I have to say this, this little guy, not only is he pretty, he does a really darn, he does a great job. Oh, and there's like sea glass spray all over him because I, I use this thing too much. All right. So I'm going to just cut this up really, really fast. And I'm going to put my apple on and really really super easy and then i usually keep um my tape once i'm done with it it kind of stays on top of the mini blossom like that like so just so i have it 
and it's ready to go for next time. All right, so let me just go ahead and run this through. And then I'm just going to keep these off to the side um, for, for you. And then we're going to play, do a little play. So I'm going to be using ink sprays with my covered eyes. So I want to know out there, um, are you guys ink sprays? Like, are you, do you use ink sprays? Do you not know what to do with ink sprays? Um, what do you think about, are you like, what the heck is an ink spray? Now I, now I need ink sprays. Um, what the heck do they do? So let me know right now, are you team ink spray? Is ink spray something that you like to use? What do you, what do you like to do with them? And ink sprays, I, they're also something that I'm like, you know, in fact, I think this entire uh, broadcast has been things that I didn't think I needed, but now really, really like to have in my craft room. I think that's it, this, this entire thing. So are you team ink sprays? Are you somebody you're like, you don't know what the heck is an ink spray? I, use, I have them, I've hoarded them, but I don't know what the heck to do with them. Yep. <laughs> But want to use them. All right, Kimberly, this is this is this is your live, man. This is your live, Kimberly. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you some ways to use ink sprays. And they're really neat. There's something that I was like, yeah, I didn't need that. But now I'm like, okay, I think I think I love ink sprays. I lost my tip. Look, this is this is typically the type of pencil the kids come in with. It doesn't have any sort of tip at the bottom. <laughs> that's that's what they come into my classroom with. All right, ink sprays. Yes, Joni, that is good. Dilia, yes, just started trying them, Denise. Denise, how have you been using them since you just started trying them? How have you been using them? And I have to agree, you have to kind of think about them for mixed media projects, Dilia, but you can use them on things like this where I have to tell you, my die keeps jumping around, everybody. I'm so sorry. I'm going to do this with it instead. Um, how have you been using them? And I agree with Joni because um, I have also had some accidents where I have been uh, trying to shake them up and I don't know what the heck to do with them. So we got that. All right. So there's two pencil and I'm just going to run through three pencils. That one has a tip on it. That, that kid sharpened their pencil on this one. All right, and then my last one, just on backgrounds for now. Yeah, that's what um, I've used them. I kind of like use them on there, and I might just like want a little bit of a splatter. I use them a lot for splattering now. Um, I just, uh, I might have a card coming out soon where I use the Cosmic Berry. And I, I try to get, I'm, I don't have full set syndrome. I'm not somebody who feels like I need uh every single item and every single thing. That's just not me. And so I tend to, to like pick colors and things of like that I know I can stretch. Does that make sense to everybody? So I'm gonna pick maybe more neutrals, things that I know that I'm like, okay, I know I can use this in a lot of different places in a lot of different ways. So what I have here is I took the cover die. So this is the detailed web cover die. And I die cut it out of um, the all to new watercolor paper. And I love this paper. I like the fact, in fact, I need more of this now that I'm looking at it. I'm really running short. Um, I like this because I can just pull the sheet out and it's ready to go. And I can do my watercoloring or I can do some really quick backgrounds or I can do something like this. So this is the watercolor paper. Still finding orange spray. You, you can't see it on my desk, but I have like antique silver going on over there um, on this. So as Avril's already cringing, I can tell right now about what I'm about to do. Um, so I cut this out of watercolor paper. You need to run this through because this paper is really thick. Uh, I had to run it through like three times with my little spellbinders machine. So just be mindful of that um, as you go along. So this... Uh, these cover dies are a little bit of a higher price point, but that's why I wanted to share it with you guys today for what, for what you, you know, that, that you can do other things with it besides just laying it on a card base. So I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to try this. I grabbed some packaging from one of my alternate packages and wish me luck, everybody. We're going to, we're going to go for this here. All right. So I'm going to grab a second piece of watercolor paper 
and I am actually going to put this on top of it. Now it looks cool, just white on white. That's <laughs> Avril. It's going to be coming to Ireland in just a second with what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> and it really looks cool, just white on white. And I just really love uh, for this thing that I'm doing. And the reason why I, um, you know, am why I am using it this way is that I wanted to get a die, a, a cover die that has a nice bunch of like holes and space in them. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of that tape that I had, and I'm just gonna kind of tape this, do this on the top. I'm gonna come over here and I just wanna kind of tape these together so they're at least connected so it's not totally crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as a stencil, pretty much. So even though it's a cover die, I'm going to use it as a stencil. And this is one of the ways. So I'm going to pull in, um, this is Mr. Mister. And Mr. Mister, which is, as you can tell, is a little well loved in my, in my, in my uh, craft room. This is just uh, water. All right, so I'm gonna just by start by kind of misting it with water. And the reason why I wanna mist this with water is because I want the colors to run. That's my objective is I want them to run. Um, and so what I'm gonna pull in first, uh, in fact, I'm gonna let you guys kind of make a choice right now. So I have I only have four of these because I'm kind of starting, like I said, I don't, I don't have full set syndrome. So I'm kind of starting my, my collection of sprays. So I have an antique gold, and I have uh, antique silver. So I feel like these are pretty, these are both basic, they're both neutrals. I haven't used this antique gold yet. This guy I use a lot, as you, as you can tell, he's a little well loved. Um, and then I have this sea glass. And then I also have this cosmic berry. And the cosmic berry is this like gorgeous dark color. So if you could pick, do you, would you wanna see um, cosmic berry and antique gold or would you like to see antique silver and sea glass? Let me let me know. Sea glass, Avril, Avril's on the sea glass silver. Anybody else? So cosmic berry, antique gold, sea glass, antique silver. What do you guys think? Which one would you be interested in taking a look at? This is really pretty because it gives us really blue, beautiful blue. All right, Sue's on the gold. So right now we got one vote, one vote. Any tiebreakers out there? Berry and gold. Oh, we're winning. Okay, we're getting this one. Berry and gold. Sea glass and silver. Cosmic and antique gold. All right, I think we're winning. Sea glass. Got another sea glass. All right, we're about... This is winning, so we're going to do berry and gold. Berry and gold. The other will be gorgeous. I think so. And you know what, Nancy? I think I might use the sea glass and antique silver on a different one because it is gorgeous together. I have done that and that looks beautiful. These are new to me. So, all right, so I'm gonna start out with this gold. So I've already misted this water on here and you can already tell that something flaked off on this. This is probably my antique silver. All right, so there's a little bead in here. And so you really need to get that bead working and so you kind of need to put a little muscle into these. And then you're just going to start kind of spraying. And hopefully you don't get this all over your surfaces. Ooh. Oh, that one went far. That one, Avril, that one just went to, uh, that one, that one just went to Ireland for you. <laughs> all right. Now I'm just kind of pushing this all over. All right. And then I'm going to grab my cosmic berry. And again, I'm just kind of getting that to move. Just get kind of pushing that all around. There should be a bead in there. Okay, this is very dark. So you can kind of see just how dark this is. And I agree with you, Avril. I think <laughs> it is definitely on Avril. I think, Joni, we're going to do sea glass in a second. And I have to agree with Avril. This one might actually be great for a Christmas card. I'm going to go a little bit further. So you can't see where I am, but I'm like, I'm a little bit further because I, oops, I'm just kind of going with it here. And what's neat is as you kind of play around with these and I can add some more water and because this is watercolor paper, I can add that water in and it's just going to start to move. Let me just add a little bit more gold. 
and then a little bit more water. So I'm just kind of playing around with this. And what's cool, so I need to dry this off because I got I got some wicked globs in here. Um, but you're going to end up with the pattern of that stencil behind it. Um, is there mica in those sprays? That is a good question, Avril. I would assume yes. Um, it doesn't tell us, but that is definitely a question we can ask. Um, these are metallic shimmer, and of course, it's you can't tell on um, on screen. Uh, but for if you were here with me, once it kind of dries, you can once you tilt it in the light, they both have this incredible shimmer. But I just wanted to show you. So that's what you get, and that's the cool thing. I know. I agree with you, Roxy. It's like what the heck. Um, and the cosmic berry is this like really gorgeous. Um, it's this really, really gorgeous color. And that's why I kind of picked these colors. So I only own, I own one more, which is pure white, which would not help in this situation. Um, but that's why I, I literally only own four and I may get a green. That's probably going to be my next one when they go on sale. So these are the four I got, which was silver and gold. Uh, a blue, which is sea glass, and then cosmic berry. And I'll show you those two in just a second. Um, now, I can keep on going. And in fact, I want to do a little bit more of this gold just to get a little bit more on the top of that. Oh, that one. Avril that and just went on your desk again. Just to get a little bit more yellow in there. All right. So now that I have this, and it's kind of crazy, and it does look like a little bit of a murder scene. And that, that cosmic berry, I got to tell you guys, it's great. It's so pretty. Um, and so it's just really, really neat. All right, so I'm gonna remove my mess here. I may I may take this back. I, I might come back with this in just a second. So I right now have two uh, card bases and that's, or two backgrounds and that's what I was looking for. So I'm getting a little twofer out of this, all right? Avril, this is totally a Dexter situation. Um, in fact, I'm gonna grab one of my most used pieces in the craft room, which is this little guy. I'm just going to put him right on the edge and I'm going to just going to grab my heat tool and I'm just going to blast this just for a second. Just because kind of... I want to use it right away. If I wasn't, um, if I wasn't live and with you guys, I probably would just uh, let this sit and dry for a little bit and not really touch it but I want to take a moment and just kind of get this all dried up. There's a lot of little droplets on here that I probably need to pull off. And then once I kind of dry it, I'll show you how it's looking. All right, this is looking a little bit better. Okay, I think we're a little bit drier. It's that top one needs to, needs to dry a little bit. All right, so let's pull this back off of it. I love it. So you have this, so now we got two, now we got some pr two pretty cool backgrounds. So, and they're neat, right? I mean, they're really, really cool. You have this really, really super creative, um, you know, red. And again, this kind of goes with our theme of our apples and our little guys here because, and I thought this would be really cool. And so we can just see the yellow with that and how cool that, how cool that looks. Uh, that's what I was going to do is use these as die cuts on here. All right. I'm going to take a second and I'm just going to dry these up and then we are going to put together and make some cards in the last 15 minutes. I'm just going to use this and see what I can pull off for some extra little bits here. Again, I, if it was, if I was home and I wasn't doing a live and trying to get two cards done in less than an hour, um, I would just let these dry and just let them sit and not do a darn thing to them and just let them sit in the background. Okay, all right. Okay, so I'm gonna start with our teacher card first. And this is still a little wonky. Again, I'm gonna just take a second just to zap it. Just to kind of dry it off and get it a little bit wonky. Now my paper, because I used so much water on it, now I'm hitting with a heat tool, it's a little warped. And so this is another reason for drying it for a little bit because this will help it to uh, flatten out. I can put this in some books um, and kind of help it to flatten through and then I will be okay. But since again, we're on a live, I'm just going to go with it. So I might not necessarily put things down, um, but I will, 
show you what I wanted to do and how I was going to put everything together. All right. So on this card base, and this would really look cool, I think portrait. Yeah. Let's do it this way. That looks really cool that way. All right. So I'm going to do this portrait and I'm going to make this um, a teacher card. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make this a principal card because I think I want to give this to my boss. So just to let them know, I have two bosses that are principals, just to let them know that they are doing really great. Um, and I want to do thank you for a fabulous year. All right, here we go. These are, um, these sentiments are really, really super nice. So I'm going to grab my extra paper here, and I'm just going to do this right in black ink. And I am actually going to use... Uh, I was supposed to use obsidian, but I didn't grab it in time. So it's way across the room. So I'm just going to use this in jet black. And I am actually going to hand stamp this because we're going, we're going a little rogue today. And I lost my eraser. Here it is. Um, again, this one has quite a bit of surface area and it's a sentiment. So I want to make sure that it stamps well. And so that's why I'm going to use my conditioning eraser. And I'm just going to put this right under it. And I'm going to, I can cut this out with the die, but since I have the sub, actually, I will cut this out with the die. And then I will cut out the sub sentiment and just do it a little bit different way. Two, three, four, five. All right, beautiful. And so you can see how beautiful that and nice and nice and nice and does. And yes, Delia, thank you. And uh, packaging, I have to say, it's a great way. Um, oh, that's a good idea, Sarah, about putting things like this down on my Cricut, down um, drying on their own so they don't warp. And I agree. If you just kind of leave it down, it's 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 it would it will work for you. Um, but again, I'm a little bit. I'm just going a little bit fast. All right, so then I'm just going to do this sentiment. So thank you for an amazing year. Fabulous year. Thank you for a fabulous year. All right, so I'm just going to grab this. And that's why I like this as well, is you can just, um, these because the, the die set, cuts out all of these sentiments, it makes it a lot easier, especially when you have backgrounds like this, that you can just go ahead and uh, just stamp it and then cut it out and then you're good to go. There's no kind of like fussy cutting. You don't have to worry about masking it. It's all set and it's all ready to go. All right, so I'm just gonna run this through. And that's the other reason why I love Mini Blossom is it's right here. I don't have to reach for it. It's right next to me, and then I can just cut this out, and it saves me some time. Sometimes. All right, thank you. Mini Blossom. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take this out. So now we go here like that. And I'm just going to take a very large pair of scissors and do my best to cut this straight. And I think this on black, uh, white heat embossed would look beautiful. I'm just gonna do it quickly on white just to kind of show you my idea. And please take some inspiration. I'd love to see what you do. And so there you go. And so you have this really quick background um, and I spared no expense on my splat box. You got that right. What would we do without packaging? Delia's got a great, um, um, idea for making sure heating it from the back removes some of the warping and packaging is a blessing for crafters. I agree. I, I really use, especially Altenew, they have some beautiful packaging. And so I like to use that um, all the time. All right. This is still, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's actually not so bad. Okay. This is pretty dry. It looks pretty good. So I would just take a piece of white cardstock or my top, you know, here we go. So now you can kind of see those colors a little bit better. Um, and so this, I love how this came out and you have that cosmic berry in the gold. And I'm so sorry that you're not here with me in my studio 
because yes, it is shiny and yes, it is shimmering. It looks gorgeous. So what I wanted to do with this one is I actually wanted to make this um, a graduation card and I wanted to use um, the sentiment way to go. And I thought it would be cute to have these pencils kind of at different, um, at different lengths. Just gonna kind of move them around, that's too high. That's probably too perfect. So I might wonky it a little bit, there we go. Um, and then I wanted to use this die that says way to go. And this is really great. I'm just gonna cut it out of white, but I would actually cut this out of um, like a gold. No, not gold. That red look, would look good, but I'm gonna do it out of white. So this way to go, and it actually has a shadow die, which I think is neat too, that you can, um, that if you wanted more emphasis or you put it under black, anything at all like that, that would be uh, really cool with it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off. So I have um, my mini blossom. So I'm just gonna cut my paper so it fits right on here. And then I'm just gonna run this right through my mini blossom. And this is a nice strong sentiment. And then I have um, a little idea, bear with me for when I finish this. Uh, I have an idea of making a graduation cap. Um, and I would use uh, all to new thread, except um, I moved my craft room and I can't find my thread. So I have to kind of improvise with some twine. But uh, I, would, I would use the gold all to new thread. I think it's gorgeous. There's two types of gold in the thread. And um, there's an antique gold and an enchanted gold, which is just a little bit brighter. And I would, I would use that for this, but I have a little idea for a graduation cap. Bear with me though. It may, it may be a fail, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so this is our thing here. So I wanna know, does this, what do you guys think? Those of you who were like, I don't know about ink sprays. Um, would you try this with your cover dies? Hi Beverly. Shadow and gold and script in white. Yeah, that would be God, that would actually be really beautiful. I'm having a little trouble with my die cut because that's always happens on lives. All right, so this is my way to go. And I agree with Avril that you, if you did this with a gold shadow, I think that would be gorgeous. Um, if I have some time, Avril, I'll grab. I don't have any gold right next to me, um, but that I would agree would be beautiful. So this has a shadow die with it that I would use. And then I have a little bit of black cardstock that I put right next to me, so I wouldn't lose it. Here it is. And what I want to do is I'm going to do my best to cut a square. All right, here we go, everybody. I did not pass kindergarten. I'm just letting you know, all know right now. I did not pass kindergarten. Okay. That's a pretty good square, right? How'd I do? Oh, that's not a square. That's close to a square. All right, and then I'm gonna make a little bit of a smaller square. Oh, this isn't a square either. All right, we have some sort of random rectangle. Let's go with random rectangle. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of a square on top of a square. All right, so I'm just gonna glue these down. Now, um, like I said, I would probably use um, thread, uh, I'd use the alternate thread, but I only have twine. All right, so I'm just gonna make a hole in this little cap. I should have done this before I glued it, but that's okay. Oof. All right, there's my hole. Let me make it just a little bit bigger because my twine's bigger. Okay, I think I can fit my twine in there. Again, if I had the thread, if I had the thread, that would be great. I'll use yellow, because we're on a yellow kick. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna take the, my thread, and or my twine, and I'm just gonna push it right through. So I'm trying to make a tassel 
So it looks kind of like a graduation cap. My best. My hole's not big enough. Try one more time. How are we doing out there? I know. That's how I want. Good. I'm glad. And it's, I think, uh, get out those sprays. Get out your cover dies and see what you got and just kind of try it and see how that works. And if you're not really sure, just, uh, you know, it's only paper. So don't, don't worry about it too much. It's not a, it's not a huge, huge, huge deal. All right. I'm going to make, do my best as a tassel here. So I'm just tying a knot to make sure that my, um, my string doesn't like fall back through, if you will. So that's a good, that's a good one. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this edge off. And then I'm just going to kind of unfurl this. Now I want it to ravel or unravel. There we go. Now we're unraveling. Just unraveling. And I'm just doing my best to make a little, uh, just to make a little, little tassel here. All right, I need to put this knot in it right now. Um, but I was thinking this was a, like a little cool, cute little graduation cap. I, I know it's handmade. I don't have a graduation die or anything like that. Um, and this way it, it's going to kind of stay on there. Cut off my other little end. And I can just put it right on here. Another way to go. Boop. All right. It's not the best graduation cap, but I'm trying. Um, and some... Six by six cover dies. Yes, that would be great. Um, anything at all. So that's what, uh, so let me just kind of recap what we did and what we worked on. And thank you so much for kind of hanging out with me today. So we used the um, Educator's Rules stamp set to make this apple and for these beautiful pencils and for these sentiments. And um, then I used the Detailed Web cover die and I cut this out of watercolor paper and we used Cosmic Berry and Antique Gold sprays to make these two backgrounds. And then I just added a uh, principal, thank you for a fabulous year. This is great, ready to go. And then I have way to go and I may work on my little cap, but uh, you have a, maybe a little graduation cap. I'll take him off because I don't think he's, he's working, but I tried. Um, and so way to go. And we talked about this would be really cool with white like this, but then with a gold background. And then you get some pencils on there as a grad, uh, way to go. On this die uh, set, the way to go die set, there's also these two little dies that say congrats and you rock. And that's really cool as well. So I know I'm trying. <laughs> Sarah, I was, it looks so cute, but I, I think I need to like go and actually get a little cap. Uh, or honestly, if you had the thread, it would be better because that will unravel better versus my twine was having a little trouble unraveling. So on that one. Um, and so I hope that you were inspired a little bit today. And I hope that you, um, you know, for some of those supplies that you have that you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not really sure how to use it. Um, I'm not sure what to do. And yes, I still, I need to, uh, I need to cut out my, my die cut didn't do great on the T. So I should have run that through twice. So uh, thank you so much to Angel who is behind the badge. And um, I was great for you to be here. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. And I know that uh, this is kind of our thank you season to educators. So just to those educators out there, thank you so much. We had a, we had a little bit of a tough year. And, um, but this was, uh, the, we're almost there. We're getting close. So thank you. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. And thank you for being here. And thank you for spending a little bit of time with us and, uh, and for crafting your life with all to new. So thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.